As we take a look at our Brookside cab, you pretty much just say blah. Yeah, look at the dreary conditions out there. Has this camera a couple of hundred feet up, beginning to pick up a little bit of drizzle on the lens, but we can see Brookside right here, this view, part of the Buffalo Run Casino and Resort Weather Camera Network. Have your jacket, have your umbrella this afternoon as we will see some rain. Now, dual Doppler radar across the metro. Nothing really widespread, just some light showers west of town, north of town, heading back across portions of Osage County, up towards Bartlesville, Copan, Coffeyville, no water north of Oolaga, some widely scattered showers also just to the north of Miami. And these are generally right along I-44 and to the north and are moving from the southwest to the northeast. We will see more development across southern Oklahoma a little bit later on today, and those showers will continue to lift up to the northeast. In fact, we've got it all tracked out for you on our future track this afternoon, 5 o'clock. Boy, it will be a wet commute uh, heading back home this afternoon. Those are wet roadways, so allow some extra time for that. Heading into the evening hours, more showers, and they're going to continue through most of our Wednesday. 41, that is it. Boy, this morning, 6, 7 o'clock, we were about 39, 40 degrees, so it haven't warmed up much. North winds at 9 makes it feel like 35. Highs today only about 42, 45 Muskogee, maybe 46 heading down towards McAllister. Head inside tonight. You're not going to want to be outside. Temperature is holding pretty steady for us in the low 40s. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be in the upper 30s, so hold on to that coat. Hold on to the rain gear, too. Has more scattered showers in the morning. Through the afternoon, I do think we see a break by about 5 o'clock, at least in Tulsa. Still some lingering showers back towards Tahlequah, Muskogee, and Stigler. And on the back side of the storm system, there may be that uh, threat of just a few light snow flurries. So that's the blue color right here. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night, say just northeast of the metro up to about Noad and Coffeyville. Don't get too concerned. It's not going to cause any type of travel issues or anything like that, but maybe just a few flakes in the sky tomorrow evening. And the sky is going to clear tomorrow night, heading into our Halloween morning, and we could have a hard freeze across portions of green country. 28 Bartlesville, 28 Bristow, 30 downtown Tulsa. Sunshine does return for us for our Halloween. And looking at the trick-or-treat forecast with highs in the mid-40s that day, yeah, it's going to be pretty chilly for those ghosts and goblins out there. 7 o'clock upper 30s, 9 o'clock temperatures are going to be in the middle 30s. Another chilly start to our day for our Friday. Temperatures pretty close to 30 and then heading into Friday afternoon mid-50s. Weekend forecast looking in great shape. This is the weekend we uh, gain that extra hour of sleep, but we set our clocks back an hour. And then next week, a little bit more of a warm up, some 60s by next Monday and Wednesday. But wow, what just a gloomy oh. day for us today. <laughs> it's, you just want to stay inside. I'll probably make some chili tonight.